Hey, it's Holly from Live It at Country, and today is day one of the 10 Home Tours in 10 Days series. And today I'm so excited to be welcoming Michelle from Design to Love on Instagram, and she will be sharing her beautiful farmhouse styled home today with you all. So let's welcome her here today and go tour her home. It's Michelle here from Design to Love over on Instagram. I am so excited to share my home tour with you. And I want to say a big thanks to Holly for inviting me. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so starting in the kitchen, I've actually changed the look of this kitchen over the last couple of years um, a lot. I recently painted the floors. They were this awful, <laughs> like linoleum that just I couldn't live with so I painted them and I also painted the cabinets they were a very very dark color which since it's a small kitchen I had to brighten it up with uh, a nice white color added two mirrors on either side of the kitchen sink to help brighten it up that way. I also added this um, light fixture. The, I bought the black pendant and added some crystals to it. Another DIY I did was the Sharpie shiplap. This wall was just a plain white wall and it it needed something and I actually love how it came out. You'll also notice throughout my home I love vintage pieces and use them throughout. And here's a look at my coffee station. And you can see here, I also have a lot of vintage pieces and some of them are special. Um, like the sugar bowl belonged to my grandmother and some other pieces that I've collected over the years. Here's another view and also you'll see just outside the kitchen window is another space that I changed up which I'll show you guys after. Um, it was just a deck right outside the kitchen and I changed it into a screened porch. This right here is another newer addition. Um, this was part of my two car garage and the kitchen ended right here and this was just a door into the garage and I had it converted into uh, a nice big family room. So up here on the landing part of the room, on this end I have my desk area. swing around and kind of show you the full view of the family room part. And then that's the door now that leads out into the rest of the garage. 
which is basically just used now for storage and the kids toys and just a closer look at the other side of the landing where I have uh, my grandmother's hutch and just have it filled with some special pieces and also pieces that I started to collect. This is easily one of my favorite rooms. It's just so bright. I love the windows and all the natural light that comes in here. This vintage radio was a Facebook Marketplace find for $35 and I had to have it. you'll see some more vintage books just throughout my home I love um, using them for decor and they're just so pretty love the different colors and textures in the old books. Some fresh peonies from the garden. And I will take you out there and show you guys that space, which my home and garden is a continuous just it's a work in progress and I still have so many ideas and projects that I want to do but this is where I'm at right now so here is my screened porch which is definitely one of my favorite favorite changes that I made It just allows us to be outside in nature and just out of the elements if it's, you know, not such great weather or, you know, the mosquitoes don't bother us. final view I'll just spin around so you can see the porch from this angle so nice to just sit out here at night and here's a look at the outside This is my small garden area for now, but like I said, I have 
all sorts of ideas and different plans in my head. We have a vegetable garden and then I tucked in, in this little fence area, um, a cutting garden. We have some hungry um, gophers and rabbits, so. <laughs> I have some zinnia seeds growing in the back and I planted some dahlia tubers this year. Those are just starting to come up. are one of my favorites and can't wait for them to be in full bloom they're just so pretty small little garden out front that has some perennials in here and some annuals. It's going to look so pretty once everything starts to really bloom and fill out in here. And then just one last look at the backyard. Thanks for checking out my home. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and again Thanks, Holly, so much for having me. A big thank you to Michelle for opening up her beautiful home today and sharing it with us here. And a big thank you to all of you for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all the other homes we're gonna be sharing and I will see you guys later. Bye.